uh, welcome those who are just joining us for the for the you know the the party. We've been working hard here, 24 hours, hard work, hard work for everybody. The way we see it, open data works for everybody. So basically, be, be, it's beneficial for everybody. So and that's uh, that's beautiful. They were like beautiful teams. We started 16, 16 teams, uh, ended up 14. Hopefully all 14 today, uh, this evening, will present their, uh, their ideas of, uh, of how to make our daily lives better, more educated, and, and, and uh, have uh, this idea, which is not what we call, call data-driven nation. And this is most definitely is uh, one way of 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 uh, manage manage um, our land, smart way, wise way. So we, I'm glad that we have young people participating. There were when when I ask how many people have had uh, participated in, in uh, hackathon before, there were just about 50 people, uh, 15 percent, 50 percent. So just half. So we have newcomers. So it's uh, um, I can be more ha happy uh, about uh, these results. And as jury, you 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 will be presented 15 fine uh, examples. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, should I repeat everything? <laughs> So, all right, uh, I know that we have a long, uh, long uh, e evening, and I know that uh, uh, the, the teams are anxious uh, to start uh, their, their presentations. Uh, but b before, before, with that, before we do that, I just uh, will remind you that this, this, during this, uh, when we were thinking about this conference, we came up with this idea that, uh, that the open data is like a, a parachute. Right, it it only works when it's open, so therefore it's open data, right? And and that is not a joke. That is not a joke, right? You you know who've been here for 24 hours, you realize that open data works. That's a fact. So, but uh, there was the, there was there was hard work. There'll there'll be fine presentations, and then there'll be some money. Right, we we are very happy that uh, our sponsors, uh, Tieto here and uh, BI uh, Easy BI, uh, uh, put some money for you guys for your effort. So we're very happy. We're very happy for them, uh, and for us that uh, we have uh, good good partners. They're not only partners, but this later about the other partners. Uh, let's go to jury. We have. Ten fine people uh, on the jury, right? So we'll we uh, and people are uh, uh, knowledgeable. They come from IT. They come from local municipalities. They 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 come from NGOs, from business side. They are they're quite you know rounded. It will be very objective. In my opinion, it will be very ob objective uh, uh, judgment. All right. So, but Mikus, Mikus Jakobsons, he's the actually representing uh, uh, our uh, the organizer uh, organization. Right. Let's give him a round of applause. He also was one of the mentors, which was helping you with the open data portal. Right. All right. Uh, Janis, our dear uh, chair of Lat Lat Latvian uh, Open De uh, Association. So uh, uh, we're glad to see him here. Uh, Janis Stupulis, Tieto, the, the money guy, the money, right? The money. Kaching. Um, okay, Martin Schwetz, he here. All right. The. the Alternative and free to Google Maps, right? That's what I learned this day. Uh, I mean, and I love that. Uh, Raymond Simonowskis, another money, 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 money. 
Um, all right, Rachel Gallum is the is the <laughs> is the representing Valmia now. Woo! All right, good energy. We have energy after two, 24 hours. All right, Michael Kepkov, Czech Republic. Okay. Jan Supenix, also a <laughs> friend of ours, okay? Okay, and Andrius Kurvitz uh, from Estonia. Woohoo, Tartu! <laughs> All right, and Finland, representing Finland! <laughs> Ice hockey champions, world <laughs> champions. That was that was the best. That made my you know couple of days. That that game, all right. Good, very good. All right. Now, um, teams, there's there's just one, uh, one small uh, uh, change of order because one of the teams needs to go uh, 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 home. Uh, <laughs> it's funny enough, Latvians will understand that. Uh, <laughs> so. Guys, as we re rehearsed, most of the teams rehearsed uh, this, uh, uh, the way we present uh, our projects, right? It's three minutes. We'll be very strict. I'll be the timekeeper. Uh, you come. You, you can use uh, a mi oh, my, my mic. Where is the? Oh, OK. Yes. Um, actually, Gunita is the uh, co-moderator. We are like a team of two people. Uh, Gunita has been helping everybody uh, here with the team, so and she's she be also Gunita will uh, give two tickets to TechChill, which is uh, one of the most important conferences in Baltics, right? In a value of uh, 100 euros, and also uh, from Tesis, uh, three month uh, uh, subscription in uh, Scuola Sesci co working space. So the ideas that are born here. Lounge in Tessis and work hard for three months on the free space. All right, good, good, good. So, all right, three minutes. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that one minute is left, right? Uh, and then uh, three minutes for questions. That's also, we will, we'll, we'll try to keep it, ro you know, rolling. So you have three minutes to question. So think about questions while you watch the presentations. And uh, all right, the first team is to do, to do, to do, one of those. All right, all right, to do. Oh, uh, what is this? What is this? Sorry, 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 sorry. There's something. Okay, it was first. Huh? Hello, everyone. We are team to do. Uh, our task was or challenge show migration data of employees on the map. So um, it's pretty actual in Latvia since it's a hot topic um, between citizens, municipalities, and decision makers um, to see and display how migrates our employees and people in uh, between municipalities and decide how to plan the new municipalities. So, um, we got primary data from Central Office of Stat Statistics. It's a pretty new data set. We chose to, to take them and show on the map. Our secondary data, we used, of course, some spatial data. Unfortunately, they are not free. So we used open data sets and prepared ourselves something. And the result from long table is something what we can see on the map and show. So before the showcase, thank you to my team. And now, hands on, anyone can open the link and see the map. Um, right click on the mouse 
we show the flow from municipality to another municipality. Uh, going over the lines, we see how much people are traveling and working in other municipality. Right click shows opposite direction from where are coming people to work. And unfinished part under the hood, we see proportions input output and under the hood not finished part that's for future splitting in by the nice codes uh, what kind of uh, specialization are making the people are they IT experts are they from other uh, groups so that's probably some potential businessmen can look and decide hmm here are a lot of IT experts traveling all far away. Maybe we can attract them here. Thank you very much. All right. Qu questions? Any questions? Oh, they have mic. Good. All right, then we keep that. There is what? Did you discover any interesting new insight that uh, was surprising to you when looking at these maps? Um, actually, no, <laughs> because we have uh, worked a little bit with, uh, with other statistical data of Latvia. Um, for uh, people who have worked with this data, probably seems that Riga is small, because usually Riga is something that eats all the Latvia. So we needed to, to figure out how to show this uh, this data so that not, not everything is covering Riga. This visualization a little bit lies. We we need something to more more add some uh, extra information on the side somewhere so that it could be explained and more correct. This visualization is a little bit wrong. Okay, the Royce introduced me as a money guy. I promise you I'm not only that, but still I have to ask, who's going to buy your solution? Who is, your, who will go, who is going to pay? Um, we haven't think about it, I will say honestly. Uh, potential, one of ideas, sitting and drinking cola, is that yes, probably that could be someone from uh, companies who are looking for new employees. Since this is now hot topic, we could add here advertisement. Here is a job. Come back. <laughs> I would like to explain a little bit uh, this data. This is very important data for municipalities because uh, they see from which other municipalities comes money because of because um, of uh, taxes. Lot, ta taxes. Yeah. So in this moment, we, we show only population, how much people are traveling back and forward. In fact, in this data, we have um, more data, but we didn't. It was not possible during this time to, 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 to show uh, other scopes, because in data, we have uh, how much in each municipality the people have uh, produced added value and uh, summary value. So this, um, these numbers we can also show. All right, thank you very much for your presentation. I have a question regarding your solution. What, did, what does it take to make it online? Like instant, every day, every week? Is it possible? In this moment, nothing. Just hosting. It is on. It's on, it's running. I mean, uh, like every, you have uh, the data which is based on daily activities. Between cities, uh, these data are published now in Open Data Go portal. Um, it depends how often they will change the data. There is no sense each day we change. We rely on uh, official government data. If they comes each day, okay, we can refresh them. Mm -hmm. All right, one more question. If we have any, yeah, that's it. Right. All right. Well, thank you. All right, round of applause. Okay, the next team is SSM. Are we present? Good. Excellent. We'll give you some. We'll give you, some you can plug the computer. And um, oh, the mic is yours. Thank you very much. 
Just let's wait a second for the picture to show up. Let's just wait. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be fine. Let's wait. Okay, I okay. guess well, I, I, I will start. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's okay. wait. This is oh, good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, our team is called SSM, and not because we are smiley, smiling. We are uh, sp uh, special or 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 uh, or something. But we are social technical system modelers. We are trying to find s how uh, technical things are connected to uh, us to people and how we, we interact so right now we are trying to find out how pollution data visualization for why solutions can work and those solutions uh, is made by us by general public because we can choose either we want to live in a place like this where you and how to uh, to put something on your head <laughs> so you can breathe, or you can live in a place like Valmier, where everything is green, the river is clean, uh, running through the city, you can swim easily in the river with no worries that you could get sick. So uh, the aim of our solution is to use it for everybody. How we can use it? In Latvia, we have a portal called Manabals LV. In English, it's my voice, because each of us, we have a voice, and we can actually change things. For example, here you see a list of, of ideas we have put in uh, this portal, and we are voting. We, if we get 10,000 votes, we can take this, our idea, to local government, and sometimes even to um, to a uh, whole government of Latvia. For example, here is on the right side, there was an initiative that we can uh, take, like pay less taxes for better food, so we can change. And our, <laughs> our thing is that we have made a map. On map, we can see polluted places which are already polluted, those are red dots, and those greenish dots, it's potentially polluted areas, and we can zoom in, click on each dot, and see what kind of pollution it is. So this information for each of us can help to figure out maybe what we can vote, for what idea to change, like, so government could change it, and we can, other persons who are voting, we can decide whether to vote against or for this idea. So I guess it's really important for us as a society to choose how we want to live in pollution or in green land. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, thank you for presentation. What uh, data sets uh, uh, did you use? We are using data set uh, which represents pollution. It's also taken from this open uh, data portal, government portal. And also data uh, regarding uh, um, how many people live in, in a place. So you also can see uh, like how much people live there. Okay, and then another one, uh, what use case? Uh, so you, you just presented one use case. Using those data, I can vote for something. Uh, maybe you can think of other use cases. Uh, I had also another idea to connect it to, to another online portal, which is called with the SOS. With the means environment, so you can 
go in, in the system and you can like take a picture of pollution and upload it. And it could be connected right to the system as well. So you can bring data inside the system by uploading picture with Geotag. Thank you. Uh, you have any conclusions when you combine pol polluted areas with the density? Is there something interesting with the? Uh uh, yes, there was one interesting case. There's two uh, similar cities in, in Latvia. One is uh, Liepāja, no, Ventspils, and another is Rezekne, which are the same size cities, but one is uh, uh, e e there's no pollution in that city, no red dot, but Ventspils is covered really a lot of, like many, many red dots. So you, we can think of uh, what kind of uh, business we want to do in our city so we can live uh, peacefully. There is one question. Yeah, okay. Maybe with without Mike. Uh, that was another idea that we, as public, we can use it to choose where to live. And there should be also a coloration if we would look at, uh, at, at the price level of buildings and flats. It should be, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, just last question, if okay. I can. Yeah, uh, do you plan some filtering about type of the pollution that is in the, in the yes, spot? Yes, it's, it's possible. If you zoom in, you can click on a dot, see exactly what is underneath, and there is also uh, like a, a list of pollution, so you can pick like data if you want to see only, for example, gas stations. You can see gas stations. Actually, a lot of pollution comes from gas stations. They spill oil all the time. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's okay. about. Thank you. That's about it. Thank you. All right. All right, Spreeditis, Spreeditis. Hello? Hello. Uh, let me just be a <clears throat> small icebreaker. We're going to answer all your questions which were like give, asked in a previous presentation because we have answers for everything. Go, shoot. No. I know, you just wait. We just have to be patient. Oh, yeah, the timer is stopped, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, oh, this elevator pitch here. Oh! Yes. <laughs> All right, go! <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Annie. I actually just finished to study in high school Valmira, so I'm now uh, looking for a place to move. I'm interested in studying in university and looking for my first job. And uh, yes, these are two factors that are really important for me and to find a perfect place to live, I will use this uh, nice school system uh, platform, the name of it is the land of happiness or Lima Zeme. And uh, yes, I, I choose to have a high availability of uh, education, uh, as well as to have a high job uh, opportunities. So we have this uh, mythical, mystical thing, like from, from fairy tales. So it's like a, a inch boy, at least a spun boy, a spiritus. And uh, the story about him, he said, like, Swanee, Swanee, take me home. And now we're going to help her, spiritus, get home. Please help me. Okay, great. Yeah. I actually see that I have no nothing to do in Daugavpils, so yeah, I, I would prefer to choose Riga. But in which re region should I live? 
And uh, when I think of uh, regions in Riga, there are so much, I have never been there. So I'm interested to have a rail railroad uh, station there. Yeah. I'm interested uh, to have low pollution. And I'm interested uh, to pay uh, rather lower prices for the, uh, for, for the room right. I want to have. So please help crazy, me to choose. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let me get uh, this uh, by area. Now like this. Yes? Is it better? Yes. Where should I live? Where should, where should you live? Okay. Let me find again. Choose it. Which one you want? Whatever is uh, more in more blue okay. color, I guess. The highest density, basically. Closer to the sea. Close to the sea? Closer to the sea. What, what, what is this? Bully. 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 Great. Excellent. That will be my place. All right. Thank you. Oh, marketing. We're looking for clients from the private sector uh, interested to actually find a good place to live in. Uh, people, living, uh, people moving around within their country. Uh, that's the priority auditorium. Second auditorium is municipalities wanting to understand why people choose to live where, uh, to choose to change the place to live to what they have chosen and what, what are the reasons behind it. Basically, uh, big, use big data approach. We are looking also for uh, clients within real estate and, and landlords uh, sector. And finally, global nomads is one more sector that we are working at. Uh, one more aspect that we are focusing on is the community involvement because there is plenty of data that isn't really quantifiable without a, a, a large user base input, uh, like noise maps, etc. Uh, so some subjective factors, and and uh, those can be gathered also in a representative and and uh, authoritative way, without going into the section of trolls and bots. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so last time we were like 20 seconds faster. You can use this website, www.limezema.lv and play around with the data and everything. Thank you. All right, yeah. Thank you, great. It works. Great, you know. Questions? Uh, yeah. uh, what uh, open data sets uh, are you using for your solution? Uh, I was the UI guy, but we're using all the data sets from data.gov.lv. Da da Could you name a couple? Uh, one of them was uh, for Riga, the, the map for Riga, and uh, this... Uh, well, uh, well, actually, um, state um, employment agency, uh, Riga municipality, statistical sets, um, uh, central office bureau from the national uh, government, national, national statistics. Um, I mean, we were combining everything. Um, yeah. One of the problems we got is that the data sometimes is like for a one, one by one uh, meter uh, like grid. Sometimes it's like a, the whole city or municipality or region. Therefore, we have to like somehow generalize and like work around it. Currently, we use something around 15 data sets. So different. Yeah. Very, very impressive. Thank you very much for this presentation. <laughs> you did very good job. Uh, what do you think? How big is the problem which you try to solve? in terms of user, potential users? So, actually this started with uh, Anni looking for, for a place to live based on data rather than in emotions. And actually I was doing the same thing in parallel. So, uh, yeah, uh, she got to that Excel level uh, and hand, uh, hand painted uh, paint pictures of, of a regions, districts in Riga where to live. I got to the stage of just uh, in text starting writing which are the least favorable districts where to live. So basically, uh, if, if uh, two people, acquaintances, acquaintances uh, are uh, trying to solve the same problem, then that already shows that, well, there's, there's potential market. And what we did is we looked at what kind of data municipalities are currently using, for example, to assess um, people's movements. Uh, there's not too much intelligence current, currently there. Um, there are some research, and we, we, we did some um, preliminary market research, and we see a very high market potential for American market, because people far more likely move there during uh, their lifetime than it is in Europe. So we see, basically, we also use this data to check how often people use their homes, their living place. So, so yeah, we were compiling data from everything we could get our hands on, and, and we have been starting to analyze this question uh, far longer than, than, than yesterday. And it's also a good opportunity to like, explore the possibility to move their official sites to, uh, to other regions and for a municipality to find and gather why some, some 
someone felt that you, you're better than others. All right. One more question? Yes, no? Good. Excellent. All right. Thank you, guys. Oops. All right. The next team is Abstan. They, this is their second time they are, they are presenting something important to us. We are glad to see them back. All right. Abstan. Oh, you, you, it will be in Latvian, right? Yes, Latvian. Uh, yeah, well, this will be in Latvian, so the judges, you will have to help, help Latvian friends, help. Help our English-speaking friends. Labdien, mēs esam komandā Abstan, un mēs nolēmam uztais savu produktu, kuru mēs nosasam data lūk priekš pasažīdums sabiedriskais transporta. Kā mēs... Okay, okay, okay. Kā mēs jau zinām, ka braukojas sabiedriskā transporta it kā lielajā pilsētā, mēs varam satīsties ar to, ka dažreiz ir problēmas ar to, ka viņi ir piepildīti. Un cilvēkam iekārši nav ērti nokļūt līdz vajadzīgai savu vietai, jo dažreiz nav ar ko elpot, vai ir jau viss saka grūsties. Tieši tāpēc mēs nolēmām izveido savu produktu, kuru varēs atrisināt šo problēmu, vienkārši paziņot cilvēkam vai šis transports ir piepildīts vai ne, lai viņš varētu izvēlēt sev kaut kādu alternatīvu maršrutu, kur brauks uz to pašu gala punktu. Priekš mūsu projektā mēs izmantojam tādus atvertus datus no data.go.lv, kā etalonu valdās esmu datus. Tieši ar tiem mēs varēsim noteikt, cik cilvēku brauks tajā transportā, kā arī maršrutu sarakstam no atvertiem datiem no Rīgas atveksmes, un arī OpenStreetMap, lai visas tos datus atvelot uz kartes ar līnijām. Mūsu projekts tieks bāzēts tieši uz Laravel, Rīgas.js, GrabQL un arī uz OpenStreetMaps, kā es jau teicu, lai visu to atvilt uz dati uz kartes. Kā jūs reizat uz ekrāna, mūsu projekts ir proti versija, viņš ir pilnīgi strādīgs, ir izveidoti divi maršruti, ir izveidoti divi maršruti, kuri viena vieta vienkārši saiet kopā. Un mēs varam redzēt, ka ir viens punkts, ir cits punkts, tas ir sākuma punkts un otrs ir gala punkts. Un mēs varam redzēt, ka lietotājiem ir divi varianti, kā nokļūt līdz savu gala punktu. Vai nu braukt ar vienu transportu, var ar otru. Kā mēs varam redzam cecinājumā, ka ar vienu ir daudz ātrāk, ar otru ir daudz ērtāk. Bet, nu, cilvēkam ir izvēlē, ar kādu braukt, un tieši tāpēc viņš var izvēlēties un izmantojot to mājas lapu, atbraukt vai no ātrāk, vai no ērtāk. To visu mēs varam noteikt pēc etalnu valdēsēs datiem. Mūsu biznesa plāns ir tās, ka klients, nopirkot prēmiju akauntu, varēs vienkārši pievienoties pie mūsu sakoptiem datiem un varēs redzēt, kurš no sabiedriskiem stāpsiņiem ir piepildies vai arī kuram pieturam ir vairāku cilvēku, lai varētu izvietot izdevīgāk savu reklamu vai ārtvertu uzņēmumu, lai viņam būtu pašam to izdevīgi un viņam būtu vairāka pelņena tā. Un nobiegumā gribu pateikt to, ka es ceru, ka katrs no mums varēs savā dzīvē seļā atrast vajadzīgo sev maršrūtu. Paldies par uzmanību! Ir kādi jautājumi? Jā, jā. You can ask in English. They will understand, yes, but they will be answering Latvian. Yes, the data is from data go well way. Okay, so you determine the number of people relevant to a specific line. Can you determine the location? We can determine the location by the time when the person validated the ride from Metalons. We use the Rīgas satiksmē transport routes, stops. Vai jūs izvērtējāt arī iespēju, es šajā risinājumā neredzu reāli laika datus, jo tas būtu, ja es redzu, es saprotu, ka tā būs mobīla aplikācija, kur es redzu, vai tas transports ir piepildīts vai nē. Jo pagaidām, nu, kur ir reāli laika dati, jo savādāk tas nedarbosies, ka viņi atjaunosies reizi nedēļā vai mēnesī? Nu, reāli laika dati tieši tagad mums pat nav pieejami, bet 
mums ir pietiekoši daudz dati, 10 miljonus rindiņus, lai, manuprāt, pietiekoši, lai varētu sarekināt nākotnē kādu, kas būtu. Jā. Ok. I have a mic here. Hello. Uh, I would like to hear what was the most challenging solution in this uh, in this solution. Yes, <laughs> so, so, uh, what was the difficult part to make it work? Well, for me, the difficult part was making the roots work with markers to show the markers because there are no events when you click on the roots themselves. So I had to do some trigonomet math trigonometry basically to figure out the nearest roots so you, so you didn't had any any uh, for example beforehand so you invented it just yeah. like that okay good <laughs> impressive okay any other question that's all right well thank you All right, uh, QWERTY 4, QWERTY 4, uh oh, all right, QWERTY 4, <laughs> I'm going one, <laughs> going twice, uh, I don't know what to do, well, we'll wait, well, well okay, we'll, we'll go to the next team and then we'll, 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 we'll think what we do with that team. All right, base app, ready? All right, time to shine. Close never is it not good to command that is quite a nice shot. Oh, then I should pass me. <laughs> Technical problems. Everything's going to be fine. And everything is fine. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, geez, oh no. I've just moved from Riga to Valmir. And my kid, he just got sick. I don't have a family physician here. I have a family, family physician in Riga. I need to get a family physician here in Valmir. But gathering the data is hard and putting everything in one spot is difficult. What am I gonna do? Oh, geez. Oh. Uh, lucky for you, uh, we have an uh, uh, amazing uh, interactive map. Uh, family physician, it's called. And uh, there you can see all the family physicians in Latvia. Um, yes, and you can zoom in to the region you are interested in, in Valmira, right? Yes, I'm definitely interested in Valmira. Oh, little Timmy is going to be fine. Look at all those physicians. Wait, why are there green ones and red ones? What does, what does that mean? Uh, colors show uh, doctor's availability. Uh, red ones have full practices, but green ones still accept uh, new patients. And in Zemgale, there's also yellow ones, which can't reject uh, new patients if they are in uh, this doctor's uh, region. Okay, okay. Like, let's go back to Valmira. That's what interests me right now. Go back to Valmira. Here we go. Okay, so, so, you, said, so you said the green ones, right? Um, that one. Okay. Uh, whoa, there's a lot of information there. What? Wait. Sarmi to Salmi. It's a, whoa, there's a lot of information. What does that mean? What is there? Yes, when you uh, hover over the uh, dot, uh, you can also see a physician's uh, phone number, email address, and also how many children and adult patients are there. And uh, you probably are more interested in physician who has a lot of... Uh, Children, uh, who has a lot more experience with treating children, right? Of course. Yes, uh, so maybe, yes, I think this one would be uh, great for you because he has uh, almost 8,000 uh, children, patients. 
It's amazing. Little Timmy's going to be fine after all. He's going to love Yuris, his new family physician. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your program. Yes, glad to help. All right. Hope that uh, answered everything that is needed. Uh, we're ready for questions. Any more precision? Yes. I have exactly the same question. I'm not sure if you Uh, we got all the data from uh, National Health Organization, uh, and uh, I think it was pretty recent data, so it should be correct. But yeah, we can be sure. Yes, for safety purposes, there's also there's a number, there's an email, and just there is a chance that everything gets switched in like a week or a month. But uh, I think it's fairly accurate. There are any other questions? Did we answer that question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more question. Uh, I'm repeating myself, but uh, okay. Suppose you get the money, you you do the start. What's your business business model for selling this? Uh, we think that everyone should be uh, should have access to this uh, uh, tool, so we would probably make money with ads, uh, because we don't want to uh, uh, ask people for money just because they need to find a physician. Thanks. All right. Oh, uh, my question is: uh, Does does the information shows how many people this doctor uh, family physician treats? Or uh, is there a uh, number of uh, people waiting in, uh, uh, like in, 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 the, in oh. line that the data was provided yesterday? Oh, it's overall patient count, like how many people are in his practice. It's not a uh, uh, queue. So as far as I understand, we didn't. That's the, the Q data yesterday was for hospitals, not for physicians, family physicians. So okay, well, okay, well, I guess that was a very dramatic presentation. All right, thank you. <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> you know, to be or not to be, huh? That's the question. Um, all right. Uh, oh, the next. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, healthy, healthy. Please, please do so. Uh, I guess I should mention uh, that this 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 team consists exactly of one person. So, right? You see it? Okay. Uh, right. So, um, basically, being a millennial, um, I absolutely hate uh, booking appointments, and especially I hate them when I have to book like a doctor's appointment. Uh, because it's just a hassle and a pain in the ass, honestly. Uh, and uh, quite often, I think it's actually just purely, you know, just bad for my health. So I should probably see a doctor uh, more often. Uh, and so I guess that that is the sort of problem I'm, I'm trying to solve. I'm really trying to uh, make the, um, the booking of a doctor uh, scheduling uh, to make it like uh, as hassle-free as possible. Uh, and so, uh, yes, yeah, so it's not finished, but basically, um, you've got a map. Uh, you can select uh, uh, from a category of, uh, of different specialists. Uh, it can be a dentist, um, any other kind of specialist like neurosurgeon or uh, 
or you know, the, basically there are many different categories. Uh, but for example, if I if I need to make like a, a dental appointment, I tap on the uh, dental, uh, and I should get some pins here as well. Um, and so the idea is that uh, I can basically see um, how long the queue is for every uh, dentist in in my area. Uh, and so if I tap on any of the queues, uh, on, on any of the pins, um, it will show, um, yeah, some, some more data. Uh, and uh, if, if I want, I can sort of scroll through uh, the different dentists in the area as well. So just like, you know, you just browse through the thing, just like on Tinder or, you know, similar uh, apps. And uh, yeah, when you, when you find your, uh, uh, the, the doctor that, you know, you, you think has the lowest queue, so for example, this one in, in 20, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a uh, wire. Uh, and so, yeah, for example, this one, uh, you can uh, actually uh, make a call uh, straight from, uh, um, oh, sorry, yeah, uh, or from this one. Yeah, so you can basically just make a, make a call straight from, from the app as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually like calling right now. So. Thursday oh. and Thursday. Yeah, I guess it's Saturday. Nobody's in, but you know, uh, if there would be, um, yeah, I could. Uh, I, I would be able to book an appointment straight away from there. Uh, and ultimately, like the long-term goal really is to uh, to make like a like a sort of Uber-style booking system for for doctors, where it's like just you know you uh, the blue button there is like uh, the idea would be uh, later to just have like a like a pop-up window where you can just select a di uh, date and time from like available uh, times and dates and just book it straight up and uh, that would be added to the system automatically. So uh, that way the uh, data collection for the uh, Ministry of Health would also get sort of semi-automated as well. So yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't slept for like a really long time so I'm like really just so drowsy. Uh, yeah, any questions? So uh, the, we, we noticed that we think that when you called the number, it seems that there were nine digits and not eight digits. So was it data quality problem or? Are you so. sure? Uh, because it was calling, so I think it should be fine. Saturday dentists usually don't work on Saturdays. Yeah. They're special. Because otherwise it would not be calling. You know, like it wouldn't have a signal. Let's saw it. And, uh, uh, Okay. Uh, the other uh, serious question was: so, if you're calling, that's like a Tinder uh, for the way there were no pictures there. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think the queue, the queue uh, is the is the really the most important metric uh, for uh, for this particular uh, thing. You know. Yeah. So, for example, if, if you know you you need a dentist and you need it fast and you need it in your area, the queue is the sort of the, the thing that you're looking at. I think I would be looking at that. <clears throat> yeah. Have you also con considered somehow quality of those doctors? I mean, quality. Um, let's call it quality. <laughs> yeah, um, not yet. No, no, no. I haven't had the time for that, really. Like, it would be a great thing, but we don't have the uh, data available uh, yet for that. So. Yeah, thank you. Is it possible to also add online booking without uh, that? I don't need to call, I just book my time and. Yeah, and save to calendar. Yeah, so the button here basically would do that, but like the uh, the API on the uh, Ministry of Health and uh, doesn't allow for that yet. But it would be great if we could pursue uh, them to to actually build something like that for, for on, on their side, so we could build like a client for for these sort of applications. All right, well, thank you. All right. All right, the next team is Hadoop Adapters. Please come show your creation. All right, who will be, sp I know you will be speaking. All right.
tagad jāpagaida, uzgaidiet. Pēle, pēle nevajadzētu. Viņam nepatīk pēles, bet nu cerēsim. Viņam ne, es skatāju, viņam nepatīk pēles. Izņem varbūt to pēlē ārā un izņem. Nu jā. Pagal, 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 uz... Jā. We had similar problems yesterday and somehow the, the mouse or Bluetooth connection somehow I screw things up. But the, oh, okay. You see, no, no mouse, no problems. Or what is that? Yeah. Okay. Some, something happened. Okay. So here is our team. And uh, um, this uh, little yellow creature is meant Hadoop. Everything else is added by us. It's leading us somewhere. And uh, we are all, um, uh, unlike many other projects, ours was infrastructure project investigating one new type of un underlying data architecture. And this Hadoop is meant to store big data. So it's uh, for uh, large stores of documents and uh, full text search, of, uh, distributed stuff in the cloud. I think many people know what is big data and um, you can do exciting things. And the good news is that University of Latvia has put its own server and our goal was to do proof of concept. That means we imported a few test data sets. They were really simple data from uh, uh, Yalgava intersection. We can show where uh, the, the intersection, uh, where, um, uh, a, a little picture where they uh, uh, registered every hour uh, uh, how many cars cross each traffic lane on Liela and Chakstasiela, that's the place where people enter Jalgava from Riga, very busy intersection. And um, then uh, it, it has not too many, many, some thousand uh, uh, lines every hour in September was registered. We tried to import that in uh, Hadoop. That's what Hadoop looks like. It's really web-oriented interface, very nice, but it is like many data of, um, of interfaces the more structure it has, the more picky it is about the format. So you really need to, we, we have went through great pains even to make it import. And um, uh, finally, we ended up with a uh, uh, 10-line um, Studio program to show what this data set is really about. And um, I think, yeah, we select everything. And this shows aggregated uh, uh, number of cars per hour. As you know, in during night time, there are less cars. Uh, so uh, I think um, it shows that for small data sets, R still beats Hadoop. So that's our main conclusion here. But yeah, if you have any questions about uh, either data or this Hadoop, we'd be happy to answer. All right. All right. Hello? Oh, very good. So, what's the social impact of your platform? Social impact would be uh, the uh, yeah. No, it will be used uh, to train students and to store larger uh, the, uh, test data and to prove um, the, those, especially full text search and unstructured data searches, where it could give you some added value because using it as a plain SQL database probably doesn't make sense. So, in general, what I can say, we are first users of uh, this system put into before actual students. Students in the University of Latvia have theoretical course about big data, but now this tool is provided. Uh, 
nobody, including us, can't really use it, but we at least know how to use it a little bit now. So, in general, we are uh, testing this system. Actually, we got it crushed. But we were not proud about this, we didn't show it on this big screen. Any, any more questions? What is uh, the connection to uh, open data here? Um, the, da the data sets went <coughs> from actual municipalities, so it was Yalgava and Valmiera, they sent us our data specifically for this Hadoop activity, so they were pretty interested in this. The, f the fact is that we are not yet quite up to the speed. All right, any other questions? All right, that's, I guess, that concludes that. Thank you. All right, uh, the next team is Cool. Cool from Cool Diga. And what liner? So. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we represent a team from Kuldiga Nuolan, which consists from two words, and together it's cool. So, um, what is the problem? The hugest problem is that uh, not many municipalities in Latvia are opening the data, but those who open the data, they use very simplified open data formats like, and data sets like Excel files, PDF files, you can see it's a number of rows, number of numbers, and usually municipality leaders do not understand what is it. So, we worked hard, very hard during the night, and our programmers and IT specialists created a very cool new tool. We call it Cool Tool. So, it's a new platform, new kind of dataset portal, which implementing, transforming, um, let's say, simplified data, from any kind of um, format into visualization of data, into more understandable um, uh, format. So during the night, we created a few kind of examples, demo examples of more products. We have no time to show you all of them, but just few examples. The number one is pollution um, areas in Valmira municipality. So first, before it looks like, like you just saw before uh, data, and now we created, a, uh, if you use our tool, it's for um, making visualization uh, with this kind of map. And you can see all kind of data of pollution in any point you can see on the map. Or second uh, example, um, here you can see, uh, uh, for example, how does it look like numbers of Latvians abroad? And our tool is transforming all this nice data into visualization like this, where you can see in which special country how many Latvians are living, for example. So that's it. This is a platform which transforming any kind of simplified open data sets into visualization. Because you know, Facebook made a new research that in the future, Every person will understand more any kind of data if that will be in visualization, because people understand more visualizations. That's it. And that is for all municipalities of Latvia. For, but it's also good for ministry, because it will attract more municipalities to open data. Thank you so much. All right. Questions? Maybe our programmers. Yeah, please, Ravis, come to help me. Um, yeah, the, the question is, so how hard it is to add new data sets to this platform? Ravis, that's our team. Yeah, it will be a little bit like technical uh, answer. No, no, show, no down, uh, short. Well, yeah, in terms uh, of uh, yeah. how much effort per what, a new data set Some you need Some of them spend. are easier. Some of them are uh, not so easy, so can I say, because the difference is uh, what well, the, does it what require the hours, time. days, or months? No, if I uh, if I make an algorithm, it's a day, uh, half of a day equation. 
to make a bridge between these, these okay uh, then uh, to, to make then kind of half of day day per yeah. each new data set yes. yeah if it's difficult if it's easier it's about 10 minutes so on. okay that's it just short comment uh, you are dealing with open data why argis uh, uh, because uh, there is a r real interesting thing that argis uh, like like a platform for the hub is a open platform the licensing the licensing is what uh, we need to pay it's about analytics and so on but about the platform you see you can implement you can join all these open data sets it gives you like the platform in the core in the middle core are open about the analytics, okay, I agree. There is a money, a lot of money, but 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 the reason uh, there is not under the, the the hub is not only the the RGs, but the open data structures, and this uh, implementation between is like uh, another server who makes the bridge. So that's yes, uh, thank you very much. Very nice presentation. And uh, regarding users and uh, their ex potential experience, how is it to use? Uh, uh, from users' perspective, this uh, platform. Mm -hmm. There are uh, so can I say that if you if you think about the municipalities, then the users it make more easier to visualize and to mm -hmm. see it. It it it's it's the goal. Uh, that's the idea, the number one. And of course, in the if you look uh, deeper inside, what is the hub? Uh, what the hub's meaning is to make uh, the G specialist to the the really easiest way to get the online data, to get the, the, the bridge between, uh, in easy words, uh, you do not have uh, put a, a lot of work to get the result. Like typing and copying or Yes, that's, that's, that's the reason. I make the dark, dark and drop bridge between that kind of data sets and that I, I, I present there to try to visualize. So you have created a platform, that, that's cool. Um, how are you going to run and maintain it? Uh, like in Kuldiga or, or open source or what's your yeah, model? Yeah. The model is like uh, make these, uh, these data which are more, uh, 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 more necessary to everyone, municipalities in Latvia, there are a lot of them without these, uh, these so can I say, uh, structures, which is uh, organizations which, which, is, which are the data keepers. And there are a lot of municipalities which need these dates all around the Latvia, the same data. So the big deal is to, at the first, to make these uh, big data what need all the municipalities in Latvia, to make the territorial planning and so on, make them the first uh, as an issue for, for, for trying to make them easier to use. Uh, maybe and I then so on till, till, till. Um, my question was more practical. Okay, assume this is a good idea, it wins. What do you do? Where you install it? Uh, how do you uh, how, how do you give it to others in yeah, practical yes, terms? Yes, infrastructure, yes. etc. Like you see, it's online applications at the first level. The second level, if you have some platforms, uh, what you already made, you can implement this kind of data. I personally. Yes. Okay. If, so if you have uh, a knowledge, a little bit of knowledge. If you didn't have, have. Uh, no knowledge, there is a visualization like a tool already for you. But for the case, uh, we can just like gift it to our ministries and they can use oh, it. Oh, cool. Because, because there's not only a gift, because the data is already open. We didn't give a gift, we just give the little bridge, a little help for municipalities. But anyway, it's a product of this nice hackathon of Valmiera. So thank you, dear ladies and gentlemen. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Zizi, Zizi Dats, Studente. And I'm just making sure that Quarty 4 is not present, right? The, not, the left, okay, so L last minute, I know I'll probably. Uh, good evening, we are team ZZ.Studente and our project is all about cues to the doctor. So imagine the situation, you have a toothache, you need to see a dentist, but your favorite dentist is on vacation and is currently unavailable. So what do you do? 
you start searching, searching. It takes a long time. You don't know whether or not you can get that urgent appointment that you need to, to go, let's say, tomorrow because you fly away soon enough. It's really complicated right now. So, because there is no wide set of data available. And yeah, that is essentially the problem. And the solution to that problem is... So the solution to tackle this problem is a unified system with data processing and collection so that the patient can see the queue to the doctor and make a registration depending on the, the data he, he or she sees. And of course to reti retrieve data and uh, statistics about it. Right now you can see the application in action. So right now we are searching for a dentist. So we select a dentist, there it is. Uh, and you can see a map of all the available dentists with the route to the nearest dentist being shown, which you can then select and open in Google Maps and then make your decision about how you're going to get there from there or then pick another place, another dentist's place, and maybe make some adjustments. So. so what you see here is the business pro process schema, which shows the business logic of uh, our solution. So as you can see, the middle row is our solution, and the top and bottom rows represent the external uh, systems our solution interacts with. So, and you can also see the data flow between uh, various aspects. Yes. Uh, as for potential benefits, uh, this, uh, we have developed our project with upgradability in mind so that we can make our system to be integratable with other systems currently in place so that uh, hospitals don't need to change them. So, in the future, if there is uh, such possibilities, uh, an interest for that, so it is possible. Uh, in light of this uh, upgradability, we could greatly benefit the patients, the medical staff, by uh, lowering costs, workload, and essentially just providing more accurate data in general. All right, thank you. Yeah. Question time. Uh, what's, the difference, uh, what's the difference between your solution and uh, Google Maps? Uh, our solution does incorporate uh, the queue times. So you get shown the actual dentists with the shortest queue times. So that's, that's the difference between Google Maps and this. Okay. Next question. Uh, one question, if you are dealing with open data, why are you publishing for uh, the medical staff Excel file? Uh, this is uh, more meant to, so if we, this is what I meant that we had some upgradability in mind. So if, for example, a uh, hospital is using it, so the staff working there could use this to then export their data about their queues in an Excel file and then submit it in a standardized form so that the NVD, the National Health uh, DNS Agency, uh, can then uh, also benefit from the standardized data. They don't need to, uh, um, how is it, uh, merge all the data themselves. We can do it for them. So there is a benefit for them as well. Okay, thank you. All right, I guess. All right, thank you. Yes. All right, uh, there's, there's a, all right, find your doctor. Find your doctor. All right, good luck. 
just let them stand there for two weeks. All right, so let me tell you how I almost have made a dream come true over one night. <laughs> I had this vision of a portal that would help me to uh, solve people's problems for something like three years, and I had no idea that actually it is possible. And I will guide you through the uh, story how we made it happen. So imagine there are people with rare diseases. These are people that are less than 8% uh, of the population. In Latvia, those are 130,000 people, and only 3,000 of them are found. And that means that these 3,000 people can receive health care they need. So. We uh, described this problem as such, like uh, we had the data from uh, yesterday's open da data sets and we used the maps and we used many other sources. And um, so we identified the problem that these pe people can't actually uh, access the doctors because there is like a random doctor which is called like by this specialty, but does this person really has a competence in the area that the person needs? So our solution for this would help uh, match the right doctor with the right patient because uh, we would, uh, like for example, we use this case about hemophilia. Hemophilia is a disease which is a rare disease, which means that uh, the person's blood doesn't clot, so it has internal bleedings. And to stop these bleedings, these people have to go to hematologists and they have to receive very special and extremely expensive treatment for that. So we created this tool so you can find on the map all those doctors and you can also see which doctors have this competence in this particular area because uh, otherwise it's very difficult. If you go to just a hematologist somewhere, this person might not have the necessary knowledge to understand uh, this particular disease. So our tool helps to find that. And you can see that we also incorporated the waiting times and all other uh, problems that uh, we have discussed so far. And how we would use this in future, um, I think this is like a, like a big dream come true for all the community in Latvia because, uh, and we could also use it further on in Europe because if people can have open data about the doctors and communities are helping building in the competence side as well as evaluate these doctors by um, putting uh, cross marks and uh, pluses and uh, highlighting the ones that are really helping, then uh, this would be the future for all Europe and all people. This is something like 40 million people in Europe would be very thankful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Questions? Uh, questions. Did you, how did you got the ratings of the doctors? Uh, so, you, so does the things last minute change? Uh, so, what, what, uh, how will you co uh, collect the ratings for the doctors? We will involve patient organizations because we have this um, network of patient organizations in Latvia. And first, we would ask them to uh, help us f uh, identify the doctors that are uh, very good in one or other uh, area. And then afterwards, we would come up with, this is not a last minute solution. We were thinking yeah. about this from the very first minute. Okay. And um, yes, and then we would come up with an idea how to make uh, people evaluate but doctors. This, this will be just some selected uh, organizations to which this opportunity will be given, or will any patient will be able to provide the rating? To start the database running and the tool to be full of data, we would use the resource we have. And that's like 30 biggest patient organizations ah, in so Latvia. So you already have some. Yeah. OK, I see. <laughs> okay. That's it. All right. There was one oh, there was, there's one more. Oh, well.
yourself uh, treatment is very bad and you should never go on Google to find your symptoms. <laughs> the family doctors, there were people presenting up to find the family doctor. So basically you can use that because the family doctor is a gatekeeper in healthcare system and that should be the person who guides you to the specialist who would help with the answer. Just pass your phone to that gentleman. <laughs> Uh, a que question. Um, you seem quite committed to the idea, so I would ask again a practical question. What will be your next step with, with it? How to implement it in real life? I asked if I ha can have a, like a next meeting with the same team. We were working together and we could like uh, come up with an, an idea of how could uh, we write the project and get some financing because this is something that I was really dreaming about for three years. Okay, so, so All right. <laughs> oh, 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 only in Valmir dreams can come true in 24 hours. All right. All right. Uh, the next, uh, the next project is called Pipeline Finder. So let's let's see what that is about. Down. Body. Mirik, Mirik, who's guide them? Guide them. Okay. Uh, I'm re representing the team Pipeline Finder. Um, Uh, so what we are developing is a, a system which uh, find, uh, helps uh, people to find the nearest pipeline to their uh, place. And uh, it happens more often than we would wish for that uh, recently paved roads are being dug up and uh, new pipelines or new communication networks are being laid. Uh, the most infamous uh, case being Christian, Mal uh, Christian Baro on a street in Riga a couple of years ago, and also um, applying for a uh, permission uh, to um, create a new uh, utility uh, connection it involves a lot of paperwork. So, if people could uh, beforehand check on the available pipelines, uh, that, that would maybe. Uh, speed up the whole process. And uh, what we are targeting are uh, municipalities, real estate developers, and potential buyers of uh, real estate. So what we, are, uh, what we have created is uh, a system where uh, the user can uh, see uh, different uh, utility networks, in this case it's a uh, water network and when he clicks on uh, some location then uh, the system calculates the closest uh, pipeline and then displays the information about it. So in this case uh, the user of the system might decide that 188 meters is a bit too much uh, for him to create a connection and might go with a um, different option. And uh, f what we uh, have been using is uh, open data provided by Ch uh, Czech Republic uh, because in Czech uh, it's uh, obliged to, for the utility providers to publish the data to municipal municipalities for visualization. In Latvia we don't have this kind of law but um, uh, we are going uh, with what we can. So in this case, uh, we were using the data provided by Kuatsani uh, district 
and also by Liapaya. And uh, yeah, when we cl click on some feature, then it would be possible to see the diameter, diameter of the pipe and the year of construction. So in future, using this, we might avoid situation when the pipelines are too old and need to be fixed, but nobody has noticed it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you very much. How big is this problem and why we should care about it and why we should solve it right now? Um, well, the problem is uh, quite large because we don't like <laughs> roads being dug up for no reason. And uh, in future it might help if uh, the utility providers could cooperate um, when some of the part of the road is being dug, then uh, different uh, providers could also come at the same spot at the same time and do their work instead of doing it like m one month uh, in between those events. Uh, who will use your uh, solution, your application? The inhabitants and general pub uh, uh, public, I, I would guess, and uh, municipalities, if some law would be, get passed. So in this case, it's uh, um, kind of a creating the supply of the data by uh, creating demand. But yeah, you have to start somewhere. All right, all right, thank you, all right. All right, it's uh, open, uh, online forever or online forever? <laughs> online? All right, this is the first time I've read it correctly. <laughs> Sorry, you know, the more tired I am, the better I get. It's good. That's more intensive. Uh, more intensive, yes. <laughs> Yes, first, no. All right, for the domain is in the domain is in. Oh, it, it, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, there we are, we are, we are, we are, okay. we are searching for the public. Uh, okay, all right, all right, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, hello. I'm representing. Oh, oh, it's pretty small. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe. Okay, I'm representing the uh, project Latvian Municipality Budgeting. Uh, if you care, dare to compare. Uh, so, uh, Latvian uh, has a bunch of small municipalities which collect and use a lot of money. I propose it's a couple of billions. Uh, which come from taxpayers and it's quite vague ways where it goes. Right now, there is no such a tool uh, letting to plan, analyze, compare, and monitor quality of this process. So, problem is expensive and pressing. Uh, next, uh, project aims to increase number of people. I guess uh, people who will look at the budget will at least uh, be 100 times 
bigger or more uh, to increase municipal municipal spending effectiveness by increased comprehension of uh, decision makers and to help municipal deputies like me uh, to understand analyze budget because uh, otherwise we're just raising hands and nothing happens uh, so smarter smarter spending is uh, uh, I guess it will come so uh, potential capabilities functionality is to compare different municipal budget and separate their positions to each other to previous period budgets how it changes uh, to state budget, which is already visualized in, in the same manner. Uh, second, to produce charts ranking municipalities according to different criteria, which would be interest, uh, interesting for both uh, journalists, uh, general public, and to let compare municipal budget data per capita uh, and per its territory's square meter, which is not available right now. And to compare efficiency of similar institutions uh, across different municipalities like barring TS or whatever how they work and why one is uh, more expensive than other uh, areas covered uh, social impact wide range of interested groups from decision makers to general public even to school children children which can be interested in uh, potential professional commercial advice to the municipalities as well okay uh, strong municipal vector yes th first of all what can I do uh, as municipality give to my people how can municipality foster its people uh, with abundance of the data available and not uh, like uh, other way what can municipality get from such a hackathons okay okay workflow maybe we'll skip it uh, so uh, viewer uh, this uh, program enables creating nine variants of various views it's uh, uh, I will show a bit later economic classification is available and functional uh, ten, it looks ten, ten seconds yep uh, and planned already and executed budget sorry. So, uh, so sorry okay one slide yep uh, one slide where the, uh, where here is uh, how it looked like. Uh, there is a kind of uh, uh, diagrams, uh, one type, second type. I just put, and you can click on them, and then it uh, changes to the uh, lower uh, level, and it, it shows a next level, and then you ca can pick and see the numbers and both also the percentage uh, under underneath. So it's uh, you can change. The, there is that's. All right. Brief. That's okay. Thank yep. you. Thank you. <laughs> no, uh, it's uh, meant for every uh, of the one hundred. <laughs> Uh, 19 yes uh, yes uh, it was uh, in, uh, showed in a workflow that uh, first of all we uh, use data from state chancery where it's, it's centralized uh, just clean it up it's a very big uh, actually the uh, hard, yep so it's it's for everybody so we can compare one to another and uh, yep hello hey uh, who and how will keep it this platform alive? during next years? Uh, good question. I <laughs> uh, actually, it, it doesn't uh, take uh, much of work uh, as it can be optimized, uh, just some script and uh, cron job, which just uh, once a month when the new data comes, uh, does this thing and, and put it just uh, online. So it doesn't take just uh, little care. Will be a keeper. Uh, not decided yet. Probably, well, in the municipality, I don't know, <laughs> or me personally. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, uh, uh, we got team. We were t two team members. Uh, unfortunately, the se second team member was already is in plane, so I'm alone right now.
Yeah, but but he, he was a coder. I'm actually a lawyer, a bit coding experience. So, yeah. But it looks much different than what you were presenting before. So you've done a lot in the past uh, one yeah, hour. Yeah, I, I tried also uh, a bit more uh, expand and then and tell what, what, what it includes. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. All right. <laughs> And uh, the, um, the last but not the least is the we'll, we'll look into the future, edu edu future. All right. So uh, unless uh, QRT4 is going to come back, uh, I think we're pretty much the last team. So I just wanted to congratulate every participant for having uh, survived the last 24 hours. And then I wanted to congratulate the, the mentors and the staff and the organizers even more for having survived us for the 20, last 24 hours. Hold on, hold on, please, uh, just wait. And here I hope the filler would be would suffice. Uh, thank, thank, thank the computer as well. And, uh. Thank you, computer. <laughs> All right, good. So um, we are Edu Future, and we have developed a web-based platform to help you, maybe perhaps me at some day, and the gov municipal governments to make life-changing decisions. We all know that for the last almost three decades, Latvia has been losing population every year. However, the last couple of years, we've seen a resurgence in uh, the proportion of uh, children aged between 5 and 19 in Latvia. And while there has been this slight re rebound, we have still lost 17% of children aged between 5 and 19 over the last decade. However, the proportion of these children that study in uh, secondary and primary education has been growing. So from there, we can understand that the, the necessity for quality educational outcomes has only grown. Now, we see uh, from the, uh, rather we don't yet see, however, table. we have uh, a heat map. Uh, do not touch the cable. So yeah, we have a heat map that is both a visual aid to show which regions have been losing population, nice nice which have lose, been losing uh, students, and their schools have been closed down or merged with other schools. Shortly, we're going to have it up there. But until we do, we'll just continue on. And the thing that we made, just so that we don't have simply a visual aid, we have made a predictive model that predicts, depending on various variables, uh, the probability that a school will exist in the next year. So our model um, used, for example, uh, population data from uh, the regions. We used student body size for schools. We used uh, the exam results and Olympiad results for each school. And from that, we made a predictive model, which actually was quite, quite precise. Uh, we input all of the data from uh, 2009 to 2018, and we predicted the probability that each of the Latvian schools would still exist in 2019. And while the model did not see we're going to just skip over this one. This is the uh, change in uh, school size and schools. And the other one, we have a, an indicator that shows the probability that a school will exist in the next year. Now, you can see that there's a lot of red dots and a lot of green dots. The green ones have this higher probability to exist in the next year, while the red ones have a somewhat lower probability to exist in the next year. Now, I want to mention the fact that our model was approximately 84% precise with regard to predicting the outcomes on 2019. And to just jump straight over, like, what is the societal value of our work? We intend to raise awareness with regard to the critical situation that a lot of municipalities face with regard to losing students, losing um, 
Yeah, losing students. And therefore, we have like these municipalities like Salzgriva, which had multiple classes for each year with more than 30 students 10 years ago. Now they have one with 17. And there's obviously a big, big issue with this. Thank you. Um, you have a, a beautiful idea, and uh, this is very important for society. So again, my practical question, how to get this alive, how to, how to get this working? In uh, what sense? How, how to implement it? So, so uh, how to get someone to do something about what's it? What's your plan? What's your next step? Well, as I said, our idea is to raise awareness because the first thing that has to happen is like people have to start to care. And so if we have a population that cares, they will p put more pressure onto municipalities to make a change because it's not about like we're spending a lot of money in Latvia f on education. We are one of the highest spenders from the national budget on education. However, the educational outcome is still not there. So our idea is that if we would just put that money to better use, we would get a better outcome. Actually, my question is uh, quite similar. Have, what have you learned during these 24 hours about your school system? A few highlights. Uh, the data set was one of the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the, the municipalities are That's all right. We still love the, the, data, the data set. We like it. We like yeah. it. Uh, actually, it's better I, than nothing. Uh, one of the bigger issues that we had is uh, schools changing names. Because from 2009 to 2019, we had like more than a hundred schools changing names. And the thing is, you can't attribute, you can't match test results. Because they, if a school changes its name, you can't match the test results across time. And I actually deleted 1,200 lines of data by hand. And boy, it was my brain fried. You, you said that uh, your uh, results was 85% uh, correct. Uh, what is your guess about uh, those 15%? Why, 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 why there was some kind of... Well, as we actually discussed with some of the mentors before, is that uh, this is actually a good sign that the model is precise because it means that the uh, reasons for closing a school uh, are data-driven. I mean, it's not just random that they choose to close a school, it's because like their test results are bad or their student body is shrinking or some other kind of data that we don't get. We don't have funding or, or faculty sizes because the, it's just too hard to get it in 24 hours and get it working. Um, if that responds to your question. Decrease what of education? I'm sorry. Uh, education. For instance, we have a secondary school, but uh, decrease is still a primary school only. Have you thought about that? The, the yes, 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 yes. And, and, and there's, it, it happens both ways, actually. Uh, they both merge and they separate. But like the thing is, I mean, technically, the, the children don't go anywhere. They still go to a different school. I mean, secondary education is obligatory, so you have to study. And uh, while we don't particularly uh, separate this in, into a separate probability, the, as far as I know, the, the way that we estimate this probability it, uh, attri uh, attributes for it. Any other questions? Yeah? All right. Oh, one more time, I give the summary. What data sources did you use? Uh, what open data sources you used in this uh, creating this model? We used uh, state uh, educational content centers data on, uh, from which we drew the list of all schools. We used the state information 
no, state education inf information service from which we drew all of the, oh, no, not the other way around, from VIIS we drew the schools and from VISC we drew test results. Then we took uh, Olympiad results, we took uh, from the Central Statistics Bureau, we took the sizes of municipalities, we uh, had and then we also approximated how much is the impact that uh, a better school is nearby because that is also a slightly significant uh, estimator. Oh yeah, I wanted actually to mention that one of the, if not, I think the strongest uh, estimator, correct me if I'm wrong, the strongest estimator was the size or rather the change in the size of the student body and the second strongest estimator was test results. And uh, yeah. as soon as you added test results, the Olympiad results yeah. reduced uh, in the power, which means that like, the reason for keeping a school alive is not just because there's some student that's really good, but it's to keep the whole student body yeah. uh, uh, with a good quality of education. And the second short question is, can you zoom in into Riga Center? So just to validate whether it looks realistic? This is actually the cumulative change over the last 10 years. It's not the probability, I think. Yeah, this is, the cumul this is like the total change in student body size over the last 10 years. Uh, the legend on the right side said probability. Uh, yeah, see, 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 this is cumulative. is God, There we go. Cumulative change over 10 years. Uh, though I think T1 is uh, 2015 here, but you can swap over to the other. Where are we going? Yeah, we have to. This is the cumulative change <laughs> file. <laughs> <laughs> Open well, 24, the 24 hours there we of go. hard work. <laughs> I've done it. I mean, I've slept quite a lot, surely. So this is the probability of survival, and uh, yeah, we, we can... Now, do not take the results of this uh, as if we were about to say that we need to have all the schools closed that have a lower <laughs> score, please. Um, but it's like an indicator showing that there's a challenge that this school is facing, and it has to start thinking about what to do with this, this challenge. Because the, the, it's, it's not just the size of the school. Sure, we are missing a lot of variables that policymakers do take into account when they choose to shut the school down. However, we feel that like test results and, yeah. and, and student All right. body. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Good. 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 Thank you. Uh, I'll just, you know, for, for fun, query. Quarty four, are are you here? No, all right. Uh, all right, actually we, we, ran, we ran over only ten minutes, so we are quite, quite good uh, students of, of of open data. That's good. So, well, since uh, in the program we ha we 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 were we were giving thirty minutes to the to the um, um, ju jury, we still give them thirty minutes. So, all right, so at uh, 7.15, let's say 7.15, we'll meet here, and then we'll we anna announce the, the, the w w winners and, uh, and the winners, and the winners. You see how many organizations chipped in to help. So we are very, very thankful to, to all these organizations, right? This is Vadams, Vadams, who is the main organizer, right? There's, there's some European money, woohoo, right? Well, Lata as co-organizer, but we did a little bit more than co-organized this thing, right? Valmir Sati Thieb Sagentura, right? Also, woohoo! The, the, this school with them is Oak School, yes? Our Czech friends, uh, plan for all. Yeah? Nordic Council of Ministers office in Latvia, yes? 
the, the money guys, Tieto. <laughs> the other money guys, here. And Easy B money. Wonder, carrots, and good food, right? The great city of Valmira, right? Woohoo! Sessis? Hey! Special love goes to Kuldiga. Yes, 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 yes. Woohoo! Uh, Yalgava, yes, we have. I mean, Meshpils, really? <laughs> Oh boy, what is that? What is that? Ti amo. It's something in Italian. I love you. Basically, it's ministry, all right? I mean, a lot of you used their data, right? It's, well, we'll see what, what happens, what comes out. So what is this? This is Lapsvarts, right? Representing is it the Latvian Vals, uh, National Vals, National National Vals, Dienas, yeah. That school, too, is there, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. RTU, no, and what is this? Ka, ka, ka. Pasta clothes, Casta. Augmented urbans. Oh, augmented urbans. Okay. So this is. I know that one vividly. I know it vividly. <laughs> Linux Center. Yes. Valmier's uh, Drama Theater. Oh, Theater. Oh, well. I was, I was translating. Right? And Coca Cola. Yeah, ooh, that's crazy. So, so we have, uh, uh, so the checks are in the in the in the house, right? If it's all good, then the money is still in the house. Oh, okay. So, but now, well, I guess I, I want to uh, start with the with the way we we planned doing this, and we want to sp sp thank some special people who, with with without whom this even literally wouldn't happen. And um, and that is um, artists. You 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 know you really inspiring person. You know you love open data. I mean I don't know where you got that love to to, to that and what is what, what is that? But this is just like a this idea opened by default and you know and everything. And then you have your team. You brought your team here and it's uh, it's just wonderful. So come, we will give you something for that. <laughs> Poor Dinch, yeah? Call this, call this, call this. Keep, keep on, you know, opening data. Um, and uh, the good things come in twos, right? Uh, we see that there, there's another person who slowly starts to understand the power of open data, and that is Baiba. Yes! Wow! <laughs> She's been. Uh, she's. She's the representative of 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 of, of, Valmier. of Valmier of this great city. All right, uh, and um, and of course the Ginta, uh, who who. She, she's the really. From this building. Money, money's been safe here with her. You know, just because of her, the money is still here, right? All right. Uh, well, uh, now we will we'll, we'll go to our next slide. And Mikus, Mikus, well, since you represent the organization which organized this, uh, this, uh, and, and you are, are uh, on jury and you are a mentor and everything. Well, thank you, thank you. And open data portal, the guy. All right. I'm not going to use any devices besides just these buttons so yeah so that we can finish today <laughs> oh tonight 
on Janis Valshoi, Janis. All right. <laughs> All right. The big guy, right? He's the big guy. Um, all right, the money guy. <laughs> all right. Uh, we slowly moved into the jury uh, jurisdiction, right? Um, all right, Martin Schwetz, all right. Thank you. I, I really, um, you know, I really understood what they are doing. I really like what they are doing. I, I, that, if, if, if I have anything I learned uh, in this, the, the way, how great the company is. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and, and that's good. That's good. All right. All right, Raymond, the, the third money guy. Yeah? All right, Raymond. Hold this. All right, Richards Gailums, okay, Val, Val, Valmiers Pilsats Dome. Okay, Michael Kepka, yes. Thank you, thank you, friend, thank you. Jānis Upenijāks, pašvaldības avienība. Pārstāvot arī visas pašvaldības, jā, nevis vienu. Ļoti labi, paldies jums. Viņi arī bija mūsu palīdzēja, kad viņi divas informatīvie webināri izgāja caur viņu fantastisko organizāciju. Un ļoti labi skatījumi, pēc tam bija atkārtotie. Tā kā ļoti labi, paldies jums par to. Ok, Adjus Kurvits, or Estonian friend, Tartu, Tartu, all right? Tartu. Yes, thank you. Oh, and then for our Finnish friend, all right? Thank you, thank you. And where are we? Uh, ok, well, and then, well, well, there are some some overlapping people, you know. That we, we, nobody here is with, with with one hat, right? Nobody. Everybody has several hats, right? And this, so, and these are the mentors, the, the people who were helping you, not necessarily all 24 hours, but they'll help you more than in, you know in 22 in, 20, in 24 hours. So we already mentioned uh, Raymond, but Andre, Andre, a very special person. <laughs> Ah, right here, Andre. Come, come. Come, come. Thank, thank you. Come, please. Yeah, all this, all this, all this, all this. Uh, we already mentioned Ginta, but Tom, Tom's is not here, right? So we'll give you. Oh, Belvian Rays, yeah, Belvian Rays, yeah. Belvian Rays. Ah, no matter if you never put a doubt, can't take the wind in these books, but you can't snow in Draugium. Yeah, Janis Kaulinch has been no Kotsan. Yeah, there is a Kotsan him. Okay. Okay, Davis Klavinch, Ari Luoti, Ipash. Satiksim pārvaldi, mūs pārsteidza, jā, ja? ar ļoti interesantu datu kopu atvēršanu. Paldies tev un organizācijai, jā. Ja? Uh, Māreks Zirdziņš arī, es saprotu, ka devies, es nezinu, kurš paņems viņu medu podu. Kurš, kurš, kuram var uzticēt medus podu, lai <laughs> nodot. All right, mēs tad ejam, kas mums ir? Florian, ok, mūsu draugs no Vācijas. All right, Florian, thank you for... Thank you. We already mentioned Ma Martin, but Yuri is old, old, uh, who, right there, come. He is the one who, the, the tech guy of, behind the open data portal, right? Okay, so this. And, uh, and lovely Ona, <laughs> or Talisman, as she named her. <laughs> oh, 
Alldeles. Sonja, you're, you're here too? Yeah? Sonja? You were here. Oh, you are here. Oh, yes. Sonja, yes, sir. Uh, this is her second, uh, second uh, time here, right? In uh, mentoring. Uh, so, uh, yes, I guess, you know, the third time, you know, you know what you're going to be doing in a year, right? Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, okay, uh, we already mentioned that. Agate, Agate. Aizbraukus, yeah? Bobby, all right, all right, all right, all right. Vladislav, are you here? Also left. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, Gunita is, an, again, one of those persons with many ca caps on the head. But, 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 Paul Diaz, though, Paul Diaz, though. Aha, uh -huh. Martin, Sh Martin Schwalainis, Kurtu Esi, yay! Woo! <laughs> All right, guys, um, that, that takes that um, thanking all the people who helped you. Uh, now these people will thank you for whatever you created. And we st will start slowly with a smaller, smaller, but very uh, nice uh, uh, gifts. And RTU is, uh, is the first to... Uh, yeah, to, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, you do, you do. Well, because of the of the translation. Uh, okay, if I want, uh, if I want, I always uh, have to be here. Uh, but um, uh, from uh, behalf of Riga Technic Technical University and on behalf of uh, Project Coast for us, uh, we have a small, some a very. Uh, dedicated to Hackathon's presence. And I hope what, uh, the, and the team what gets this present was one of the uh, team what is uh, our poten potential um, students. And it is ZZ, ZZ Data students team, please. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Let's go, go, yeah, go, go there. Hey, centering, centering. Tur labāks gaismas. Labāks reklāmas izvietojumi. Pašvaldība, savienība, jā. Yeah. Tas arī tā... Oh, wow, sorry, 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 sorry. And the uh, special prize goes also to uh, one guy who changed in a couple hours all uh, the uh, presentation, and it's his Ulaine guy. Yes. Where is he? I absolutely agree. He changed everything, and he's not a programmer. He has, as he said, his, his uh, co-pilot flew away because of a planned, planned trip, and he just finished this, I think. I saw no. the guys brainstorming and still batting in the air. I'm guessing that they are still there batting with... Uh, with what? Still changing. Okay, let's... All right, well... Yes, we will... Oh, there's more. Yes, I have more. <laughs> and then I want to uh, give a prize for uh, this uh, two presenting guys for Edu Future. It looks very sad, uh, your prognosis, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> photo, 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 photo app. 
foto, foto. Sveidiņi. And one prize uh, because of consist of this bag uh, goes to Royce because he don't sleep at all this <laughs> Pašvaldības savienība, jā, aplausi uz... Latvija and Association of Municipalities are feeling very happy and good, because this hackathon is happening for them, actually. And we hope that this hackathon will serve as an example for other municipalities and institution to open the data and uh, our uh, sympathies award goes to to do the data shows <laughs> the data shows uh, about taxes uh, from which municipalities uh, comes actually money, and uh, yes. that's why that's why the, um, they can strengthen the cooperation with uh, those municipalities uh, from which comes money. So, yeah. Okay, more money. Money, yeah. <laughs> I, I, you see, there is a bag of money, That's I told it. you. Yeah. <laughs> black, black bag of money. Photo, oh, well, photo, build photo. It, build it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, Gunita, you are you are something to present. All right, I'll start with the uh, with the team that I would love to present uh, the coworking space and subscription for three months, and it's Team SSM. Mm -hmm. Come around here. surviving this. Thank you. Thank you for proving us. Um, cause of CESIS is thinking sustainability and thinking how to be resilient city. They have a lot of green resources. Uh, we really hope that you're going to use this uh, space uh, for future work. Thank you. But that's not it. Because I have two wonderful tickets to the best Baltic startup festival. And uh, what is that? Do you know the festival? Yes, that's the correct answer. The textual, of course. So uh, one of the tickets goes to the team Cool. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> However, you're going to have to decide <laughs> who is going. But uh, write me if anything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your cool you. cooperation and everything. Thank you and thank you. Tech Chill 2020. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Tech Chill's priorities is a, is a green tech and also a health tech. So thinking again, sustainability and long term. And uh, the, another ticket goes to the one man show, Healthy. Yeah, wow. You can apply for a startup challenge. I think wow. until, yeah.
Thank you. All right. Vīd zemes augstskolā. All right. Um, yeah, uh, as far as, um, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe first, um, uh, be, uh, present from Bidzeme University of Applied Sciences goes to uh, team ZZ Dati Studenti. As far as uh, you did a uh, great uh, job about um, um, implementation different kind of uh, databases and data, I hope you will need also yes. some uh, some thing for yes. notes, just in regular way as we used to do for centuries. <laughs> okay. And I will take an, uh, my word as well as a representative of Plan for All at this event. I would like to ask Team Cool and Healthy for a special prize for technical solution. Well, thank you. Closer, closer, closer. Yeah, yeah, and it like I'm a owner, 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 yeah. Una? We, uh, we have a special uh, mentor's prize also, and we with Gint uh, <laughs> decide that one of these uh, uh, prize goes to bus up. But uh, the thing, the thing is, what you have to remember is that it shouldn't be open till destination is reached. And second, uh, second prize, especially from mentors group, it goes to group pipeline. Uh, the rule is the same: don't open till reach destination. No, 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 no. You sako <laughs> You know, you look after him, all right? Um, I have um, a special prize for uh, for the team 
uh, who I consider is uh, was the most experienced, and uh, also uh, the uh, overall results were not shiny. I, I think uh, they they uh, they need applause and uh, and some special gifts. So Hadoop, please. Hadoop team, where are you? Okay, we'll we'll give them a prize later. Theater Balva, who's first name? Ah, jury, 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 jury. Um, okay, so um, I would like to say a couple of words. So. Uh, uh, we were talking earlier today about decision making that um, sometimes you, you take, no, not sometimes. Oh, Hadoop team, <laughs> welcome. Uh, Oscar, tev ir balva no unas. Okay, so backlog of prizes are, you know, vanished. Um, so, um, as you may know, uh, people are irrational creatures so we we normally take decisions irrationally and today today er, earlier today we we talked about how to take decisions based on data so and um, jury actually had hard time so we we agreed on how we are going to judge how we were going to judge the results of of the teams actually the the criteria were published together with announcing this hackathon. And uh, who remembers what, what were the terms? Right, that, that was one. Great, Gunita. <laughs> what else? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the same criteria. So, okay, let, let's save time. One, one was... Uh, usage of of, uh, of open data and, and open source. Second was how technically cool the uh, solution was, or how how well developed it was. And the third was uh, how strong the idea was, or how viable, or or will will the idea survive? Yeah. And um, we agreed that we will will stick hardly to to those criteria and put put our marks. And when we saw the results. Nobody was 100% happy, yeah. And we started to discuss whether whether the results are uh, valid. But when uh, when I asked, okay, who is going to change their marks? Okay, let, let's go go ahead. You can change your, your marks as as member of jury. So nobody wanted to change it. So basically, the the, the results were valid. Okay. So and. Um, um, we uh, we had three main prizes and one special fries from uh, Valmiera Theater. So let's start with this one. So uh, uh, Valmiera Theater prize goes to Upstan. Okay, so Gunnar, to please help me. Yep. Uh, as you may know, we have um, 
three main prizes, and uh, actually those three were where jury discussed after they actually made the decision <laughs> they were still discussing. Okay, anyway, so um, third prize goes to find your doctor. All right. Um, we had a uh, second prize. Um, so, and I, sorry, Raymond, so I forgot to announce the third prize was uh, presented by EasyBI. We have a uh, second prize to be presented by here. Martin, please. So, and uh, the second prize goes to Spreeditis. Hello, <laughs> <Angel> boy. <laughs> Hello, <Angel> boy. Angel boy. <laughs> 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 Woo! Good. Come on, boy. And uh, finally, uh, Yanni, may you come. So the first prize presented by Tieto. And the first prize goes to Edu. Edu Future. future is bright. I see. I see. All right. Um, okay, and um, I would like to give one final small gift. Uh, uh, to Royce, actually, he has used his voice heavily, so you would need some honey. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh that was, but actually, actually, that the person who is really doing all this, this, this is the lady. She is the lady, uh, really, of the evening. She, she, she has really put these things together. Right? Whatever the, yes! Yeah. Ah, she already took that one. Yeah. 
Jā, mēs nodā... Atnāk, atnāk, atnāk. Ienāc bildē. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it is, it is. You know, like... Uh, I... Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, but wait, th there's still some gifts to give, uh, Martin, there's still, no, yes, no? All right, uh, before uh, we conclude this beautiful event, what is this information about bus? Oh, there's a bus, right, to, to Riga? Okay, uh, that's good to know, that's good to know. Well, guys, well, thank you, really. Uh, I mean, I think most of us, we had fun, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, it was... Uh, um, and I'm really glad that it wasn't in Riga. This was really it's awesome. This the city, there, there's something. This is this is beautiful, beautiful city. I, we should we should do it again somewhere outside. Outside, it's beautiful. The, the real people, you know, they you know, come here. You know, not like sissies. You know, oh, the only Riga, Riga, Riga. You know, real people. All right. So again, applause to yourselves. All right. And uh, 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 thank you. And this this concludes the show. You know, the but the, the other shows must go on. Right. And. Uh, and we'll see you soon, right? In one or, or one other, some other day, all right? Good. Thank you for everything. Bye.